remaining 80% current affairs video and general studies complete videos, please subscribe to our complete package. 1. How warming up of lakes is threatening the freshwater ecosystem. GS Paper 3, Climate Change and Its Impacts. What the study has pointed out. Climate change is warming lakes around the world at an alarming rate, threatening freshwater supplies and ecosystems, says the largest study of its kind led by an Indian origin researcher. The lakes are warming at an average of 0.34 degrees Celsius each decade all around the world. The study was conducted in six continents, a total of 236 lakes, representing more than half of the world's fresh water supply, were monitored for at least 25 years. How warming up of lakes is threatening the fresh water ecosystem. At the current rate of warming of lakes, algal blooms will increase 20% in lakes over the next century. Algal blooms that are toxic to fish and animals would increase by 5%. These rates also imply that emissions of methane, a greenhouse gas 25 times more powerful than carbon dioxide, will increase 4% over the next decade. Warmer temperatures prevent water from mixing, allowing algae to grow thicker and faster. Algal blooms absorb sunlight, making water even warmer and promoting more blooms. 2. Hubble Space Telescope spots first ever supernova explosion. What is a supernova? Where do supernovas take place? What causes a supernova? Why do scientists study supernovas? GS Paper 3, Space Science and Exploration of Space Why recently in news? The Hubble Space Telescope has captured the image of the first ever predicted supernova explosion that offers a unique opportunity for astronomers to test how mass especially that of mysterious dark matter is distributed within a galaxy cluster. The supernova, nicknamed Refs Dull, has been spotted in the galaxy cluster Max J1149.5 plus 2223. On December 11, astronomers not only imaged a supernova in action, but saw it when and where they had predicted it would be. While the light from the cluster has taken about 5 billion years to reach us, the supernova itself exploded much earlier, nearly 10 billion years ago. What is a supernova? A supernova is the explosion of a star. It is the largest explosion that takes place in space. Where do supernovas take place? Supernovas are often seen in other galaxies. But supernovas are difficult to see in our own Milky Way galaxy because dust blocks our view. In 1604, Johannes Kepler discovered the last observed supernova in the Milky Way. What causes a supernova? A supernova happens where there is a change in the core of a star. A change can occur in two different ways with both resulting in a supernova. The first type of supernova happens in binary star systems. Binary stars are two stars that orbit the same point. One of the stars, a carbon-oxygen white dwarf, steals matter from its companion star. Eventually, the white dwarf accumulates too much matter. Having too much matter causes the star to explode, resulting in a supernova. The second type of supernova occurs at the end of a single star's lifetime. As the star runs out of nuclear fuel, some of its mass flows into its core. Eventually, the core is so heavy that it cannot withstand its own gravitational force. 
the core collapses, which results in the giant explosion of a supernova. The Sun is a single star, but it does not have enough mass to become a supernova. Why do scientists study supernovas? A supernova burns for only a short period of time, but it can tell scientists a lot about the universe. One kind of supernova has shown scientists that we live in an expanding universe, one that is growing at an ever-increasing rate. Scientists also have determined that supernovas play a key role in distributing elements throughout the universe. When the star explodes, it shoots elements and debris into space. Many of the elements we find here on Earth are made in the core of stars. These elements travel on to form new stars, planets and everything else in the universe. 3. Ranking 97th on Forbes Best Countries for Business List What are the challenges that India is facing to nurture its long-term growth? GS Paper 3, Indian Economy, Growth and Development What is the position of India and other countries in Forbes ranking? India has ranked alone 97th out of 144 nations, behind Kazakhstan and Ghana, on Forbes annual list of the best countries for business in 2015. India scored poorly on metrics like trade and monetary freedom and tackling challenges like corruption and violence. Denmark topped the list of the 144 nations on the best countries of business in 2015 list by Forbes. The US has dropped four spots to number 22, and it scores poorly on monetary freedom and bureaucracy, red tape. What are the challenges that India is facing to nurture its long-term growth? What Forbes said are, India has many challenges that it has yet to fully address, including poverty, corruption, violence and discrimination against women and girls, an inefficient power generation and distribution system, ineffective enforcement of intellectual property rights, decades-long civil litigation dockets, inadequate transport and agricultural infrastructure, limited non-agricultural employment opportunities. India faces other challenges like high spending and poorly targeted subsidies, inadequate availability of quality basic and higher education, and accommodating rural to urban migration. Growth in India last year fell to a decade low, as its economic leaders struggled to improve the country's wide fiscal and current account deficits.